show. Hi, Alice. How, how you doing? Good. Um, good, good. So this is Alice. She was one of our first LV models. Um, uh, yeah, I'll let you introduce yourself, where you're from, what your background, etc. <laughs> I'm Alice. I'm from London. I came to Bali in December, was it? I think. Yeah. Last that's December. Good. Yeah. Been modelling since I was 16, so um, that's what I'm doing, and I'm just sort of doing that everywhere now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, so I did. I, I did have some questions for you. Um, Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go. Of How did you get into modelling, and when did you know you were modelling? That was material? my first question. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. 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 Um, I was actually at a festival. Do you know who we are? Yeah. 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 yeah been yeah. there many times. Yeah, 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 I've been there a few times as well. Um, so I think the person that scouted me was actually a model as well. This mm -hmm. guy from my old agency. Mm -hmm. um, he obviously thought I was older than 18 because yeah, yeah. you have to be 18 to go to that festival. But I got <laughs> scouted there. I was so fucked up. Like, I was so fucked. I don't even remember like talking to him. I just What found... year was that? Sorry, what year was it? I'm 21 now, so I think it must have been 2018. Ah, maybe I think I was there, to be honest. Yeah. Where is We Are Festival? Yeah. Where's that? You wouldn't have seen me. Oh, no. You wouldn't have recognised me in that festival. <laughs> yeah, you would have been on the stage fucking <laughs> swinging through your top off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I got scouted there and I think I woke up the next day and like I was on my phone and I saw something on my notes page saying check your pocket. I was like, what the hell? So I pulled out this thing from my pocket, this like business card. I wasn't even going to call. It was my mum. Mm. She yeah, was like yeah, yeah. pushing me. She was mm. like, oh, just go and see. So I went in, had a meeting and then they literally signed me then and there. And then my first brand was ASOS. And nice. from then, yeah, from then I was in every day for like four years um, apart from like when I was at school and stuff yeah yeah and so, then so yeah. Uh, when, when you get scouted um, to be a model and you go in and you have the application process what sort of things do they like look for and ask you for like to join an agency so this is a weird one because I always get girls message me and ask like how how do you get into modeling yeah, yeah, yeah. and I had it easy because obviously I got scouted it's yeah. a lot more difficult if you haven't been scouted and if you're mm, applying because yeah. yeah. you have to reach out to brands you have to get a portfolio you have to do your own measurements you don't know right. how to approach brands or anything like that so it was quite easy for me I think normally they look for obviously height if your face is like the current vibe stuff mm -hmm. like that I, I, I really had an easy ride like they yeah. they didn't do a trial with me or anything like i was booking big brands straight away mm -hmm. normally if you start modeling you you don't book yeah. big brands you have to build it up kind mm -hmm. of thing but i think they thought i was just naturally quite good like yeah. i knew how to post straight away mm -hmm. i wasn't bothered by like the hate or like being put down by people so yeah. i naturally thrived which is yeah uh, so, 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 when it were, uh, going back to the fact that you were talking about measurement stuff as obviously one thing i've like I'm sure most people notice when, when someone when you look at models these days, they they usually they have to be of a certain height. They have to be a certain it's changed weight. a lot, right? Even from when I started. So before, I think they actually wanted me. I was a good weight, like mm -hmm. I was a good weight then, and then I got really skinny, mm -hmm. and they wanted me to put on a bit more weight because the work I do is for fast fashion brands. They right. want. Like, you know, yeah, what the trendies yeah, now, all these yeah, like curvy yeah, girls, yeah, yeah. like big boobs, big bums. It's, That's not me. I'm it's kind of yeah. going off now. It's kind of going back to skinny the girl. no curvy girls. It's going, it's going to back going to. From skinny to. Yeah, curvy. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Which is. I see you now hard for me because mm. i don't really i'm just a, a yeah. lining board well, really. what's your opinion on that like why <laughs> why do you think it was like that and like I, I, like because I, I i've never really understood it because like obviously from for example from a guy perspective <laughs> um good, like I, as you know traditionally guys but potentially like girls with with some sort of curves this mm -hmm. and the other but like obviously when it went at, back in the day it was super strict they had to be like really yeah. really really skinny but I don't, i've never understood why that was the case I think if you look at girls' icons back in the day, yeah. you look at Kate Moss. She, yeah. she was doing cocaine, whatnot. She was yeah. thin. Like, right. girls idolised that. And now You're people right. are looking at Kylie Jenner. Yeah. Kylie Jenner's curvy. Ah, okay, like, yeah, whatever's in someone's eyes yeah. is what's going to make. Like, yeah, so I, I guess I'm looking at it from a guy perspective. But also, like, girls, isn't it? runways. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like runway models, yeah. like obviously you know more than I'd me about this. But it yeah. should be perfect. Like that is like especially in the nineties and stuff. Yeah. Like it was so skinny. Yeah. Like Kate Moss, all these girls. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, I I think runways. I don't see runway ever really changing in that sense. Yeah, I mean, there's especially for the couture brands, you know, like the yeah, high end. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like Victoria's Secret. I'm pretty sure they've stopped doing their like 
angel shows now because mm-hmm. they were getting hate about girls being skinny. I don't mm. think it should stop. I think mm. there should be more like body positivity and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. It be inclusive, but I don't think it needs to stop. Kind of yeah. thing. Did you ever receive any sort of like, um, like, really horrible criticism about like because obviously like you hear you hear endless man yeah oh, I was yeah. gonna say because you hear always stories of like models and like uh, how they like been treated it's the world you live like, in all that yeah. I've had some weird things happen to me yeah. like I've had people be nasty but I've had some questionable things happen in the industry like it's actually insane I th- I think the most hate I actually got was not from like casting directors or mm. anything like that it was from when I burnt my face you know about my face right yeah, yeah. I basically I had okay. like a car radiator exploding oh, my face my, my whole face got burnt yeah. and I posted a TikTok about it and I think it got like 10 mil views or something mm. people were being nasty on there wow. like people were like because it was pictures of my modelling photos yeah. and then me now that's what the yeah. video was and people going good I hope your kids burn in hell like you fuck. did like oh, you deserve it you you thought you were so special people brought you back down to earth and like if you know me as a person yeah. I'm humble as fuck I don't give a shit about my job like that's so yeah, yeah. different from who I am yeah. to me it was like a big like kick in the face because mm. I was like whoa what have I done to any of you people to yeah. deserve like hate like this yeah it was nuts people are just well, like that though aren't they mm. yeah people are just nasty I don't, I don't think it matters what boys. you put online there's always going to be some, some kind of haters some negative yeah. feedback because they hate their life because they, they hate their they're, life they're they the ones put you yeah, down exactly. because yeah. they hate their fucking life exactly. and their life's that shit yeah. Yeah. where I'm going to put that person down because yeah. your life's shit We've always said that about Fuck them. Uh, like, uh, like even about the UK and stuff like that. that a lot of people are just so bothered about everyone else, and mm. it, it just shows they're even insecure about the themselves. They have nothing the better. Toxic yeah. yeah. place. Yeah. So toxic. That's, that's the biggest thing. I've never been asked what people yeah. think of me. Don't yeah. Give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not asked. Yeah. That's the way you have to be though, because you yeah. can't enjoy your life if you exactly. care what everyone thinks. But about a lot of people do. A lot of people do care, and that's yeah. the problem. Like, how should I post that picture if people care? Like, mm. you do you, just mm. be you, and be you. And that's what everyone should be. Just mm-hmm. be yourself. Yeah. And then you'll you'll actually once you're out that comfort zone, you'll see so much more happening in your life. Yeah. But so many people are so like they care so much where they don't get out. So yeah. Do you not think it's down almost the opposite though with the modelling side of things? Because like do they try and mould you into something that you're not, if you know what I mean? They might see potential in you, but then it's like, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to look like this. I've had like a mad identity crisis because I've been yeah. doing it since 16. I was a yeah. kid. I didn't even know myself. I didn't have my own style. I didn't really know who I was. Yeah. And I was told to be someone. Yeah. Like, I wasn't allowed to change my looks, like my hair, wasn't allowed anything, wasn't really allowed to experiment with anything that I wanted to. Yeah. Like, I was kept as blonde Barbie tanned, mm. like, and pushed out to brands like that. And then suddenly when I was like, 18 they wanted to completely change my vibe they wanted me to look grunge they wanted almost like an emo look Mm. and to me that was like crazy because it's like you've taken away who i thought i was or who (coughs) i identified with to be something totally new and that i yeah i don't know i didn't like that at all like and then i had i feel like i had like a mental breakdown right before i came to bali actually where i like realized that i'm not defined by my job and like the people that the people that are like trying to make me into something specific and now I feel like I'm being more unique and I've actually attracted more work that way like actually being me mm-hmm. going to castings wearing what I want to wear not like wearing what someone has told me to wear having my own personality and not having to fake it has got me so much further along than mm. doing all of that would you say mm. your experience in Bali's helped you realize that oh my gosh so, yes yeah. Bali like is the best place ever. And Bali is the only other place I've ever done modeling shoots apart from London. Mm. And like seeing the contrast of what shoots are like there and how toxic it is in London compared to how it's here. Everyone's so chill. Everyone's so complimenting about what you look like. Like it's just so different. Yeah. Yeah. That was was one of the questions I was going to ask. Like obviously you've, so you, you obviously did joined a lot of model agencies in London and um, some of the big ones. And then you then came here and, like is the experience uh, obviously that like you said it's a lot more chilled here but like what like for anyone who wants to come over here to do modeling is it is it easier to get into here i would is say it? it's definitely easier yeah so i was with an agency called phoenix in london mm-hmm. and from 16 until right before i came to bali so i was with them for a long time i didn't know anything else i didn't know even how to approach other agencies then i came here no intention of modeling at all you're actually the reason i started modeling out there um because you were talking about like a couple of the agencies and stuff dm them on instagram they're like yeah come in they took a video and started booking me work it was so so easy and then 
I went back to London like a couple months ago. Um, I signed with Storm, which is like one of the, yeah, yeah. the best. Yeah. But it was very like formal. This, mm. that, it's done mm. in this order. Like it's a lot more difficult, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. And was a, the, I'm guessing it was a massive pay difference between here and I was about London. to say that. Oh, do you know what? Yeah. Yes and no. I think the shoots in London, I made a lot of money because mm. like for ASOS, for example, I was their best seller. So I was yeah. like on top rate. Right. So I made very good money and I was re working <coughs> regularly. As a model, it's not normal to work every day. Like yeah. it's normally very random. Mm -hmm. So I'm not working as much here. Yeah. Not making as much. There was a couple of shoots I did where I was making like the same amount. Yeah. It was like on par. Okay. But the shoots here are like four hour shoots. It's on yeah. the beach where yeah. it gets cancelled or yeah. you know, you get booked max one or two days a week because there's not many brands here. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely different. Yeah. But because yeah. the cost of living here is so much cheaper and yeah, the quality yeah. of life is like ten times better, yeah. it kind of makes up for it, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the one of the questions I was always curious about because obviously like from from a perspective of uh, as a, from a promoter, like well, as soon as I tell someone, at least tell someone I'm a promoter, they got this instant stereotype that I was a certain way. Mm. I was going to say, like, because obviously, like, do you get do you do you think you get treated differently when you told to told people your model if you had it in your bio? And I don't like telling people. Yeah, I get really uncomfortable. Yeah, or like if I'm out with friends or like something and they're introducing me and they're like, oh my god, this is my friend, she's a model. I just yeah. sit there and I'm like cringing inside, like yeah. please shut up, like yeah. oh, it makes me feel really awkward. Um. I think people assume if you're a model that you're a bitch. Mm. Like that's what's your first impression of me? Because we we've met a few times, but we haven't really spoken. I think you're a nice girl. Oh, good. But I'm not. <laughs> no, but like I'm not. I am that type of person where mm. I don't judge anyone for like who they are or what yeah. they do. I, I'm. I've always been that way, you know. Because oh, I've been in a position where, as you said, I've been a promoter for like eleven yeah. years. So. And everyone sees my Instagram and thinks, oh, he's a, he's a, he's a yeah, cunt, he's a fuckboy, yeah, he's yeah. this, that. But yeah. I, I, you only see 10% of my life. Yeah. I only post the good stuff and what promotes yeah. me yeah, you know, exactly. as a person. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've got two, like, two yeah. characters where the promoter, Liam's that guy, and then yeah. the, the actual guy behind the scenes is... Is chilled out and loves yeah, going yeah. to nature and. I, th I think as well, works. like uh, when uh, when I meet people in Bali now, I never assume anything because yeah. every, everyone here is so nice and yeah, genuine yeah. anyway. But like, I would say back in London, like especially when I was a promoter and I had that when when it, when a girls had a certain look or a certain way, I was like, okay, this girl's going to be really stuck yeah. up. They're yeah. going to think they're full of themselves. Especially when you look at social media as well, because yeah. yeah. people yeah. portray it oh, to yeah. be themselves very differently on yeah. there. Yeah. But like, like, like for me, like you don't fit the stereotype at yeah. all. Yeah. Like well, you know, very, no, knowing you as yeah. I do, like you're very chilled. Very and like, friendly as well. Like the first yeah. time I met you, like you made the effort to talk and yeah. communicate with some girls. You can kind of tell the way, like they're just standoffish. Sit, yeah, standoffish, yeah. sitting yeah. there like the the dog bollocks, you know. Yeah. Where you were very. And friendly. I'm sure you've met plenty of them. That, though, yeah, yeah. I'm sure like, you've worked with many that's of what them. I was yeah. Say right. So I've been surrounded by that. Like that's the environment I've grown up in bitches man and yeah. i stay away from that like i do have model friends but only people that are on my bike yeah. that are nice yeah. people that are friendly if you think that you're better than anyone else stay away from me Sorry. like that's literally the only attitude i can have at this point because yeah. it's just toxic yeah these girls are toxic yeah the guys i actually got on with more than i do in general anyway get on with guys more than girls but mm. the the male models friendly so yeah. friendly yeah. they definitely think they're special and then yeah. they can get any yeah. girl but apart yeah. from that yeah. Because they yeah. can. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is, is it, is it Joshua, Joshua Miller, is it? Like the mm. dark skinned lad. Oh, did, he, did he work Joshua. at ASOS? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I probably know well, him. He's one of my good friends. Him. He DJs know him. and stuff now. He used to work for ASOS. And like, I don't know if you know Jay Munro and stuff like that. Do you yeah, know? yeah. I'm dead good yeah. friends with Jay. I've known Jay for oh, like six lovely. years. And yeah, I, I don't I know. know if, I don't know if Callum, Callum works with them, I don't think he does, he's got Falcon and stuff now, but yeah, I've knew Jason since he was like, before he was a model, yeah. he was dead skinny and then like, mm -hmm. all the girls said you need like, get some muscle on you and then two years later he's a big, big <laughs> juice head, he gets covered <laughs> in tattoos, <laughs> that's, oh he's dead nice, Jay though, I know, I know a lot of them people in that industry really. I don't actually think I met him like, at ASOS, I think I met yeah, him yeah. out. Cause he does JD and stuff now, because obviously yeah. I was in Ibiza, so like a lot of models from London used to come to Ibiza, and yeah. that's where I used to meet them all and stuff. But yeah. as I say, you, you meet, a, for me, I've every model that I've met has been fine. Yeah. You know, I haven't mm -hmm. experienced like, oh, she's a bitch or he's a, he's a cunt. Yeah. Oh, lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you've worked in the industry, you've seen it, haven't you? Yeah. Mm. Do, you do you reckon it's easier for men or women in, the, in the, that industry? Men. 
Is right. it not? Because if you think about girls, it's so competitive. There's yeah. mm. a million other brunettes that are beautiful. Do you know what I mean? That could easily take my job. Well, you're not guys, thinking about guys. <laughs> I lot. feel like there's such a distinct look for guys at the moment. No, yeah. right. like either you, you can be a model or you can't. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, right. and yeah, yeah. You probably know the ASOS boys. They all look very similar. Like, yeah, they're they all do. tattooed. They're all chiseled. Yeah, they all have yeah. like really short, sharp yeah, hair. Yeah, like, yeah. True, they true, all true, look true, very true. similar. Yeah. So you kind of know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But I feel like day to day, the guys, they always had like easy shoots. They would always mess around. Like I mm. I think they had like a slightly higher target, but it's, they can just like take their tops off and yeah. put it on really quickly. Girls, yeah. it was more serious for us working. Yeah. Like yeah. We, were, we had to be on it. They could all mess around. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, Have you ever like done anything like abroad? Not <coughs> London and Bali. Have you done anything like America or... No, so right before COVID, I was supposed to go to Australia for three months. Okay. Um, and then they basically said you can go, but you might get stuck and you might come back in debt because you won't have any work. So um, I didn't go. Not worth it. No, it wasn't worth mm. it. But soon come. Yeah, yeah. And we'll bring Justin in to ask a question for okay, you. Okay, you, you, you oh, can come and ask a question. Because <laughs> I feel like Justin has a few of his sleeves. <laughs> like, he's, he's been planning it. He's been planning it. Oh, wait, I going here? <laughs> Five on the pod. Let's go. Okay, wait. So, question time? Question time. About, yeah. about modeling or just anything in general? Anything. Anything? Anything. Okay, wait, how long have you been here? That's Bye. the question. Yeah. That's the question. No, that's not the question. <laughs> <laughs> I just need some insight. I came in December and then I left after six months and then I came back like three, four weeks ago. Okay. I got two, but I'll just start off. What's like the worst thing that's ever happened yet so mm. far here with the guy? guy with the guy? Guy's experiences. In yeah. Bali? Yeah. Because I've really met some fucking, I've met some crazy dudes here. Really? Like the yeah. creepiest thing, maybe? Just like, yeah, yeah, just like, I've just met creepy dudes. There. I was quite like, sheltered. Like, the first time I was here, I didn't really go out much because my friend and me didn't really want well, to. Well, something yeah. bad happened to her, not yeah, you. Dude, that's a, that's that's a fucked up story. Well, something bad happened to you? Her friend. No, my friend. We, um, am I allowed to say names of places or not? Yeah, I wouldn't do the same place. Just, just okay. say a place. Unless if it's a dude and he's weird. We went to a place. And then went somewhere afterwards, like a club, and my friend got spiked by like these three fucking weird ass men at the bar. Literally, she wasn't even drinking alcohol at this place. Like she had water, and they were being funny, and like she put her drink down, and we went to the toilet, and we came back. She was fucked up. That's fucked. It hit her like in the cab home. She started having these spasms. She was like foaming at Shit. the mouth. She was in bed like literally. Every, it was literally a sequence. Like every two minutes, she would start like. Was it meant for you? No, it was for her. She's like oh. gorgeous, but yeah. that She's was fit. bad. That's crazy. Yeah, I had to. Um, like, did they confirm it was a spike, ambulance. or was it like because like you know, like some girls that say I got spiked, but they're just really drunk. We're not sure. If no, she, she definitely got spiked. Yeah, yeah. Like drug I mean, yeah. If you said it was foam, yeah, yeah. Like so. that. And we found an air tag as well. Actually, I forgot about that. I had the notification That's come up on my phone. Well. So obviously, yeah. an air tag. Yeah. You can get, you know, you get these iPhone air tags now. You can buy them. And they'll track you to yeah. wherever you live and then they'll come and wow. they use it you. for like sex trafficking and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's Apple. Apple, you've des- designed a terrible product. It's actually just for losing your pets and stuff like that, isn't it? Like, mm-hmm. it's for, like, like yeah. losing it, certain yeah. things for not following people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was creepy. Uh, uh, what was the second question? Um... <laughs> I just always ask fucking sexual ass questions. <laughs> hit me, hit me. Um, so you've been here since December. Yep. Would you say you're like your relation? Are you in a relationship? Yeah. You are, right? Okay, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into that then. <laughs> you can if you want to. Before, okay, before your relationship, were you like, kind of like, you know, just like getting around or like? No, dude. No? The fuck. You no. got you got a low body count. Yeah. Well, yeah. What do you think is low? For a girl, like, you're 21? 10. Way under 10. No, 10's a lot for 21. Yeah, 21? He, he was on, like, people 400 for 21. Though, I'm yeah. not going to lie, people yeah. from England have high body counts. So I knew girls when I was 17 that was, like, 50 plus. Already. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, it's 17. Just, it, depends, it depends on the on the person as well, for sure. <laughs> but no, nah, to me, like, <laughs> sex is like an exchange of energy. I like that. I've okay. only yeah. just got onto that. If you really? like have what, sex with these partners, you're not just taking on their <laughs> oh, energy, you're taking on all yeah, the energy that they've slept with that. before. Okay. So yeah. it's a big, like, that's yeah, a big thing to do. Yeah. So wait, what'd you say your number was? 
Take a shot. Take a shot. Are you taking a shot? Are we all taking a shot? Let's, um, yeah, I'll post them all. Yeah. Why not? Okay, so we know it's under 10. It's under 10, guys. My, my boyfriend doesn't even know my exact body count. Yeah. I wasn't going to bring it up because the boyfriend... Yeah, it's not a thing I would ask. I've never asked. I always... I've never... I've never... I've never... I've never, I've never, I've never don't answer. See, for me, I've never asked. Because I don't want to know. I don't want to... I don't care. Either you're going to hate the answer or they're going to take it. I just don't yeah. want to know. Yeah. I, just, I just don't want to know. I feel like yeah. you just I'd rather not know. Yeah, I just don't want to know so the past or anything. as well, like everything. Yeah. Like if you like, you say you got four hundred kills. What's that? Oh. Four hundred. Like your body count. Nah, they haven't said four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. I mean, if you that. don't know the number, that is Dude, a big. I don't know. Thing. I'm straight up like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the number. Have you ever been tested? Yeah, many times. Have you? Of course. <laughs> Shots, guys. Cheers, guys. I, I think Justin Four drank years. from that glass. Could this end it all, lad? Could this end it all, lad? I have, uh, by the way. Could this end it all, lad? Of course. Um, you, need, you, need, you need to. Cause you need and to. on that note, thank you very much, guys, for listening to the third Love Show podcast. Thanks to Justin and Alice for being on with us uh, again. And once again, thanks to Boss Bottle. Um, check the top link in the description for both Certified Talks and Boss Bottle's website. Peace out. Thank you, guys. See you guys.